Hello and welcome back. It's Total Eclipse here today with a new series on Satisfactory. Now this one what we're doing is focusing on Mythbusters. So today we're actually going to be busting or proving whether the split line factory, which is this one that we're using here where everything splits off perfectly, is more efficient than a bus line style factory which you can see here in my mega factory build. So, for this comparison, I'm going to build a whole new layer above this factory and we're going to be using the exact same structures and manufacturers that we did in this build on the next level. That way we have a true pair-to-pair -pair comparison to see how much space they both use, which one is overall more efficient and which one uses the most resources. Now if you do find this video interesting or you're surprised by the results then please do drop a thumbs up on this video, it really does help get my video out there and also because we are so close to a thousand subscribers, I mean I was recording this and we reached 976 which is something like 20 more than the day before. So thank you so much guys for the support. Uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers to kind of celebrate, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, just so that you can see when that video comes up. Anyway, without further ado, let us jump straight into the video. Now, just to make sure that everything is 100% efficient, let's just quickly check a couple of the constructors, manufacturers, and um, just to make sure you see here, it's uh, running at 100% efficiency. We've got this constructor here, uh, which also is 100% efficient. Then going across to the, let's do the screw ones, 100% efficient again. The rod, again, 100% efficient. Now we could actually remove one of these with the alternative recipes, but we're not gonna do that for this video because we are doing a pair-to-pair -pair comparison, so it's gonna take a while. The assembler, again, well, um, just under, but generally speaking, they are 100% or so close to. Right, so we are back in the broad daylight. Um, so, I am terribly sorry, we've completed the build and the reason for this was I, I, I was recording it and I did it all in one file and it all got deleted. Um, it went, it, well, I say deleted, corrupted. And so that's the reason why I haven't done the build this time. But as you can see here, we've got all the iron ore coming through here. And ooh, ooh, we did land on it. Uh, we have a splitter here which sends uh, one third off to these smelters. And then the other two thirds go off to these ones. These ones here are for the iron plates, I believe. Yes. And these ones are for the iron rods, which then go on to the screws. Now with the screws, because we cannot have, um, I think it's four groups of screws being produced on one Mark IV belt at any one time. I think I might be mistaken, um, but I think that's the issue we had before. Um, so to avoid that, I've added two lines. Uh, the first two, you can see over here, go up and above, and the other two go underneath and then they go round and meet in the middle. So this is where we're at here. And then the iron plates are just working the normal bus, which goes all the way around and then underneath, uh, you can see it's clogged up here, and then it goes through to these two. Now, the way this works is that once one of the lanes is filled up, the other two lanes will then split the last uh, two lots of items. Um, so that's why this is here. It's not that it's inefficient, it's actually working perfectly efficiently. As you see, that one's now all going through there and this one's full. It's the way it works. Anyway, to, to show you how efficient it is, uh, we have a look here, 100% efficiency running with a full load. This one's also 100% efficient, running at a full load. Oh, I'm actually a little bit curious as to see how this one is doing. Yeah, this one's fine. All's good, so long as one's not full. 
But there we go, that's all three of them running at 100% efficiency. Um, the one thing that I will state about this particular build um, is that it took a while to get to peak production. And the reason is, um, if we go over to here, uh, like I was saying, you need to bottleneck uh, the first one. So this needs to fill up with 100 ore before the rest um, travel through. Um, all of them travel through and then get split between this one. Then this one needs to fill up to 100 ore. And then at this point, it gets split between the last two where it's a 50-50 split. So it does need to saturate the all but the last two lanes first. And therefore, these two are producing when these two smelters are producing less. And thus, the same goes for the last two constructors on each of the, the levels as well. And therefore, it does take a while to warm up. But after 20 minutes, it did go up to 100% efficiency. And so there you are, guys. We have worked it out. Was it a myth that the factory lines are less efficient? The, the bus lines, sorry, are less efficient? Yes, it is a myth because even with the perfect splitter, the only reason why the perfect um, split line factories are so efficient is because you plan exactly how many items need to go through at any point. If you do the exact same build, then you're not going to have an issue with the bus line either. So it's not that this uh, style over here is more efficient than that one. It's just a different way of doing it. Yes, it does take a while to warm up, but on mega factory builds, this is so much more efficient uh, in terms of the space, in terms of extending, um, than its counterpart. So, myth. Bus lines are not less efficient than split line factories. Anyway, guys, that's all we have time for in this video. In the next Mythbusters video, we're going to be working out what's better, whether it's using conveyors to transport goods or vehicles. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, place your bets in the comments below. Uh, again, if you did like this video, please like it. If you want to be involved with our competition, be sure to subscribe. And once again, ciao for now.